I'll show you how to create a RC Foamy using Google SketchUp and then export those Google SketchUp plans into a PDF that you can distribute online so others can build your model. I use Linux as my primary operating system so I've installed VirtualBox and then installed a Windows XP virtual machine so Google SketchUp runs. Google SketchUp will run in Wine but things like the up and down arrows don't always work. I'm running Google SketchUp 8. I have tried Google SketchUp 2013 and it stopped working so I reverted back to 8. Now I've already made a 3D model of an F16 that you've seen in my previous posts and I'll do a short demo on how to skin the plane using a sandbox which uh, makes it quite easy and then I'll also show you how to flatten the skin out so that it looks like this so all of your plans are flattened out I'll show you how to skin your model using sandbox it is a feature in uh, Google SketchUp by default it's disabled so you gotta go to window preference extensions sandbox tool is checked and then hit OK first you have to go into your model select the surfaces that you want to skin good thing about sandbox is you can select all the surfaces so you make a frame of what you want skinned and then you can select everything and uh, hit sandbox and it'll it'll skin it automatically makes it so much easier after you select all the surfaces that you wanted to skin then you go to draw sandbox from contours and it will automatically draw all these like something like this you can delete erase this line I made each one of these sections a different group so it's easier to move so you don't get the uh, pieces sticking together and dragging lines behind it to flatten a section I'll select it and then copy it control C exit the model control V to paste it okay after you copy and paste this you'll want to explode these groups so select this explode group select it again and it'll go into more subgroups and explode the group you can come in here and delete one side Ensure that you have hidden geometry turned on so that you see all the uh, various faces. Select all of this. Using the flattery tool, you select unfold faces. You click once on the item you want to start unfolding. The second surface that you click, it will align the first one to it. So I'm going to align this surface with this surface. Double click and then it'll make this and this a group so now this group once I click on this third surface it will align this group with the third surface and creates a, a group so when I click on this surface this entire group aligns with this surface and click on that surface it, this entire group aligns with that one and so on and so forth and you can see it's very quick to uh, line things up now that this thing is a group right here you can move this off so that later on you can rejoin it and you don't want to add this to this group so you click out of the group select unfold face tool again select one double click double click double click and then you can move this off and you see that the face is flattened and 
we'll align all these to this face here later on and this is kind of a trial and error getting everything aligned correctly sometimes you'll get these faces overlapping each other and then you'll have to redo it You can see that all the surfaces have been flattened out, but now I just have to align these surfaces with the horizontal ones. Select all these groups. See that it's all flattened out now. Now we just need to recombine all these back together and move a few lines and we'll be ready to go. see here where we have a double line. Let's move that out there.
Okay, since I have everything lined up, load this group. Select it, make it a group. Now you have this shape on your model flattened. Now I'll go in and delete the uh, hidden lines and leave all the other lines in there. I'll leave these lines in because that's where you're going to be making creases right here since the face got deleted when you deleted the hidden lines just go in and draw a line across it and then delete the line and it'll recreate those faces now I will copy and paste this and flip it on the green axis and then use the move tool move them together so now you have a flattened piece that you can print out and copy to a piece of foam. I'll explode this group and then make a group and use a push-pull tool Then use a push-pull tool to raise this up to 0.635 millimeters which is about a quarter of an inch. On your push-pull tool there is something you have to be aware of because if you do not see a plus sign like this right here then when you pull it, your shape underneath will be hollow. So instead of pulling, copying this face that covers this right here, it will move that face up. To prevent that from happening, press the left control button, pull it up, type in 0.635, and you'll see that both sides have faces on it. And with the push-pull tool, once you do one face of 0.635, you can just drag it up and then drag it across. But ensure that the plus sign is on or you're going to get some weird results. See how that face is closed and that face is closed. Press the left control button, click it, drag it up and move it over. Left control button, drag it up and over. Left control button, drag it up and over. You can move this over. And this is why I make groups so I can move individual pieces around. Each one of these is a, its own group. Lock it to the up-down axis and move it there. And if you want to color it, then you can open up the paint bucket 